that's rich, and that's ridiculous. The U.S. State Department's reaction after Venezuela's ruling regime announced that Juan Guaido was barred from public office for 15 years. It insists that removing the opposition leader of the National Assembly from his post is not political. The sanctions we are applying have absolutely nothing to do with the political situation, but with the breach and systematic violation of the Constitution by the deputy Juan Guaido. The state controller cited alleged irregularities in Guaido's financial records. But the man recognized by more than 50 nations as Venezuela's interim president called the ban invalid. Maduro's regime randomly picks someone to say they're going to strip me of the right to hold public office. Really? The people of Venezuela, the armed forces and even the regime's party knows that this is not going to solve the electricity crisis. The tug of war between Guaido and Maduro has intensified the sense of crisis in Venezuela, coming on top of blackouts, hyperinflation and food and water insecurity. In a bid to find a political solution to the standoff, European and Latin American ministers met in Ecuador to try and lay the groundwork for presidential elections. The meeting came amid increased tension, following Russia's decision to send troops to Caracas to bolster Maduro a move that the U.S. called a reckless escalation. Both Guaido and Maduro have called for fresh protests against each other for Saturday.